What does it truly take to lead and cooperate under pressure? This is the question going through the minds of each one standing in the expansive courtyard of Hessen Castle, surrounded by the echo of clanking armour and the whisper of flags fluttering in the wind. Today a diverse group of men, from sons of dukes and barons to squires, battle-hardened knights, and the bravest freemen, gather with a shared dream to prove themselves worthy of this prestigious order. Prince Eberhard, a figure of inspiration and authority, steps forward. His eyes, alight with a fiery determination, sweep over the crowd. Clad in his finely wrought armour that gleams under the sun, he begins to speak his voice resonating off the ancient stone walls. Brave souls of Giherland, he starts, his tone imbued with gravity and warmth. You stand here as equals regardless of your birth or title. The path to becoming a silver lynx is neither simple nor forgiving. It is a journey that will test not just your strength and skill, but the very fibre of your being, your courage, your honour, your resilience. He pauses, allowing his words to sink in, then continues, Sir Chadwick and Sir Norwood will divide you into trios. Each group will receive a map pointing to your challenges scattered throughout these daunting mountains. You have one week, one week to face what lies ahead and to discover if you truly have what it takes. As Prince Eberhard speaks, the men listen intently, some nodding in agreement while others exchange determined glances. There's a palpable mix of anticipation and anxiety as they prepare to form their groups. Disputes arise over leadership, showing that even among the hopeful, the journey will demand cooperation and humility. After the group set out, some with strategic discussions, others in silent resolve, Prince Eberhard retreats with his trusted friends, Sir Chadwick and Sir Norwood, to the Great Hall. There, they unfurl a large map of the region, who embarked on this quest will return successful, but each will come back changed. Aberration. Midway through their quest, four groups converge at a daunting obstacle. A gaping chasm cutting through a mountain pass, a silent testament to the trials of nature. It is here that the essence of their challenge comes to light. The leader of one trio steps forward, his voice cutting through the cold mountain air. It looks like we all need to cross at this point. It's too wide to jump. If we work together, we can fell this tree to bridge the gap. Reluctant nods lead to collective action, and with a few well-placed strikes the tree thunders down, forming a precarious yet passable bridge. Crossing this natural bridge, the trios once again diverge, each following the winding paths dictated by their maps. The forest watches in silent judgment as encounters unfold, some trios seamlessly melding their strengths to overcome the gnarled roots of problems, while others fray at the edges their leaders too engulfed in the fire of competition to see the benefits of unity. In some cases, the fabric of teams unravels completely, with members seeking new alliances, new trios that better resonate with their vision or desperation. This reshuffling of alliances is not merely a tactic, but a revelation of character, a testament to adaptability and perseverance. As the week draws to a close, the forest's dense canopy gives way to the golden glow of the setting sun, mirroring the enlightenment attained by these weary but wiser souls. What they have discovered about themselves and each other is etched not only on the worn maps, but also in their hearts. Thus, as the candidates of the Silver Lynx Order emerge from the shadows of the trees, they bring with them more than just physical exhaustion. They carry the weight of understanding that true leadership flourishes under the light of cooperation. It is not about commanding and conquering alone, but about weaving the strengths of each to overcome the vast, unpredictable wilderness of challenges. So what does it truly take to lead and cooperate under pressure? It takes the courage to accept others' ideas, the strength to let go of personal glory for collective success, and the wisdom to know that together we can cross wider chasms than alone. As these tests of the Silver Lynx order show, within the crucible of nature's sternest tests lies the forge of true leaders.